kanisa la Pentecoste PAG Kenya wamejitokeza hii leo na kumkashifu kiongozi wa kanisa hilo anayeondoka Kasisi Patrick Lihanda na kutaka uchaguzi uliopaswa kufanyika mwezi Desemba ufanyike mwezi ujao hii ni kumchagua kiongozi mpya katika jitihada za kukabili msukosuko wa uongozi wa kanisa hilo unaendelea Sandy Lugaria anaangazia taarifa hiyo kwa kina Wanasema aibu ni Mungu kukuambia ulichofanya ni kosa. Viongozi wa kanisa la PAG Kenya walijitokeza waziwazi na kutaka mkurugenzi mkuu anayeondoka kasisi Patrick Lihanda asiweze kuwania kwa mara ya tatu kama kiongozi wao kulingana na katiba ya mwaka 1998 ambayo inaruhusu mgombea kuhudumu kwa miaka kumi. The incumbent the general superintendent Reverend Patrick Lihanda has served his two terms. Yeah. According to our constitution 1998 yeah, yeah, yeah. that he was elected under to serve and uphold mm -hmm. he cannot run again for the third time yes. he must give way to fresh and new leadership Viongozi hawa walitangaza na kuwataka wafuasi wote chini ya ushirika huo kususia kutoa mchango wa kila mwezi kwa makao makuu ya mwavuli wa makanisa ya PAG yaliyoko Nyangori kaunti ya Vihiga hadi uchaguzi ufanyike na mwelekeo kutolewa akasema ya kwamba wajinga hawapatikani Kenya hata hivyo tena wajinga hawapatikani PAG yes. <laughs> Wakiongozwa wa na daktari Enos Luamba anayesimamia uchaguzi, Adiara Kennedy katibu wa baraza hilo, Stefan Ganiera Ngilimani, mwenyekiti wa halmashauri ya kitaifa ya PAG na mkuu wa wilaya ya Kabete Kasisi John Ngusare, viongozi hao walimkosoa mchungaji Lihanda kwa kuhujumu mchakato mzima, wakidai kuwa amekataa kuidhinisha makubaliano kufuatia maagizo ya mahakama kuu. Mimi kitu ambacho najua nimekuwa kanzo secretary kwa miaka kumi mm. na Uh, the sitting general superintendent has served 10 years so kitu ambacho tuna demand tuna demand elections katika kile ambacho kinatishia umoja wa waumini wa kanisa la PAG viongozi hao wameapa kuendelea na mikutano yao minne iliyopangwa katika mikoa ya Kisi, Bongoma, Webuye na Vihiga huku mkutano mkuu kitarajiwa maeneo ya Kapsabet wakisisitiza uchaguzi utafanyika na kamwe kasisi lianda hata ruhusiwa kutetea wadhifa wake we resolve that the expiry of that two term period in office according to a church constitution the present general superintendent when particularly handa and his executive committee must vacate office and allow elections yeah. to take place <laughs> this is a congregational church it cannot be run by one person the will of the people and of the pastors must be Dan Stanley Lugaria Luka TV Nairobi